Hey, what's going on ladies and gentlemen, Nukem Dukem here. So Rainbow Six Siege did this contest of come up with your own operator's idea, submit it to contest, and you could win a ticket to the Invitational. Now it was a, a cool idea to engage community, be more creative, and have a lot of cool fan arts for Ubisoft to see and promote. Now, I would say they also did this to kind of give them some inspiration ideas of creating new operators, new gadgets, new weapons to the game. Now, any of this thing won't come out this year, maybe not even next year. If they do take up some ideas from the community, it might be in 2020. So not next year, but probably the following. Or you might see some changes of some operators similar to some community creation. Now, the winner of this is by Candy Explosive. Congratulations. And uh, Ubisoft is promoting it. So... This was what it says as a New Zealand uh, operator. You can see right there on the flag. And at first, I thought it was Australian. I miss. I noticed it was missing one star in the bottom, so it was New Zealand. So a lot of this uh, name, as well as the language, I cannot pronounce. Sorry about that. So known as an expert in reconnaissance, Materia. Sorry, you said that. Matera excels in aiding her teammates gathering valuable intel enemies whereabouts so let's take a look when i first saw this design i was like this looks very similar to diablo um, characteristics of the way it was designed so let's go ahead so i'm just going to call her matt for short so matt she's an attacker three armors one speed and she, uh, her name is maya maya i'm sorry i can't read that language uh birth the day of her birth was september 15th 1989 she's part of the soc special forces her height is 1.73 meters and weighs 80 kg birthplace is Waturua. so let's read about her background born into the heritage amaharuru has always been taught how to hunt and survive known as an expert reconnaissance she excels in aiding her teammates gather valuable intel and enemies whereabouts demonstrating a continuous strive for Excellent. She was recruited by the SOC when she was 23, now a part of the Rainbow Team. She is one of the favorites, and as her team always said, it's better to hunt than to be hunted. Now, you can see the gadget design here. It's a very uh, tribal s look. You can see it's like a blow dart with a mouthpiece, a light infrared center, sensor, and you can see different designs of what the dart may look like. I thought I would name uh, Matt's gadget the Correro which means to talk in Maori. Maori. The device will not be able to actually talk, but deliver intel to Matt. The actual Carrero, I wanted to look like a traditional blowgun, but with the dart, I thought it should look more futuristic. As it has a lot of up-to-date technology in it, the dart would be made in light of wood metal. The feathers on the end of the dart would not only help carry the dart through the air, but would also make the dart look more appealing. The feathers would be the native New Zealand bird, the kiwi. Okay. Now you see the uniform progression is here. Uh, you can see how this creator uh, started sketching her out and then make more details and details and then different uniform operators here. It looks so much like Diablo. I, I, it blows my mind. But you can see she has a lot of tribal tattoos with the half-shaven head right there and some tribal markings and the tribal markings in the back. Okay, and the character turnaround. So that's all they submitted, but congratulations to Candy Explosive. And uh, let me know what you think of this person's design on a unique operator that won the contest. I'll see you guys next time.